What's going on guys? Super early here in the morning. Not going to work today, actually going to the beach with all my coworkers um, for one of our friend's birthdays. So a nice little day off. I thought I'd start the day off early and get out here and work on the truck a little bit. So as all you guys know, I lifted my truck by myself in my driveway with just normal tools and a little bit of creativity. So I know exactly how this thing is put together. I know exactly how everything works. I know exactly every little nook and cranny in the suspension. So with that being said, one of the harder things I would have to say with lifting your own truck is there's just one bolt, one bolt that just doesn't stay tight. And for me, it's this Pitman arm bolt right here. Um, for whatever reason, it just, it's very hard to tighten. It has to be tightened to like 300 and something pound foot of torque, which I don't even have a torque wrench. I, can't, I don't even know where to buy a torque wrench that goes that high, um, let alone get that torque out of the torque wrench by myself. So I've already tightened this once or twice. I can't even remember now. Um, and I feel like it's coming loose again. So that's what we're going to do today is retighten this up. It's kind of a mission to do it, but it's got to be done. My dad and I are going to Orlando sometime later in the month and we are taking the truck so everything's got to be perfect so the truck can drive up there and back with no issues. I don't want to get stuck on the side of the road or anything that would just really suck. So this is on the list. One of the things I got to get done, fix the steering. So let me show you guys what it actually does, what I'm experiencing and how I know this bolt is getting loose again. So naturally, um, I didn't align my truck after I lifted it. So naturally how the truck already was it kind of wants to go this way a bit. When I floor it, it wants to go this way, and when I stop, it wants to go this way. Like, I'm talking like floor it and then hit the brakes really hard. So, the alignment's clearly off somewhere. It's not that big of a deal. It drives straight, but in those extreme situations, it does pull a little bit. So, originally when I lifted the truck, um, I couldn't get that bolt super tight. So, this is the play that I have right now with that bolt being loose. Uh, before I tighten it the first time, I literally could probably, if this was the center of the steering wheel, I can probably go from here to like over here with just nothing. Literally nothing, just because that pitman arm wasn't tied up there. So it would just rock back and forth as I turn the steering wheel and the draggling pulls it. Um, when I tightened it back up, it was super solid, had no play in it. It was just really, really solid to drive. Now I'm starting to get a little bit more play in it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get in there and tighten it again. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as just getting in there and tightening it. Uh, a couple things have to come off and a couple things have to be readjusted but no worries I'll walk you through it and show you what we're dealing with here so first things first this fat ass bolt has to come out drop the track bar um, and then this whole entire track bar bracket has to be dropped in order for me to fit a socket up in here because it's super tight um, once I do that I can go ahead and tighten that bolt all the way up and really try to torque it down I'm gonna really, really try to torque it down. And then we can put this all back together. Unfortunately, the only issue is that this track bar is, uh, I, I believe it's pushing this whole thing out. So when I have this adjusted like this, I can't put the bolt in no matter what, even rocking the truck back and forth. So I have to readjust this and then put it in here and then realign the whole truck to center the axle under the entire truck. So while I'm already under there, after I tighten everything up, I'm gonna go ahead and go around the entire truck and tighten every single bolt just to make sure we're good. You know, you're supposed to retorque everything after a certain amount of miles, and I feel like I've already reached that. I've probably been over that amount of miles, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the truck real quick and turn the steering wheel, and hopefully you can see a little bit of play going on here. I don't know if it'll pick up on the camera because it's such a little play, but we'll give it a shot anyways. So you can definitely see a little bit of play there. It's not super tight, it's wobbling a little bit, and that's causing the play in my steering wheel. So that's what we're gonna fix right now. So now that we dropped this whole track bar bracket, uh, we have 
really, really good space to get in here and tighten this up. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this huge three quarter freaking gigantic beefy like caveman thing that my uh, my grandfather was really nice enough to lend me. Um, he has like every tool in the freaking world. And he lent me this, this is the proper size. It's one in a 13 16 I believe uh, socket with this huge freaking thing. And I have a 10 foot pipe I'm gonna go grab to make sure that this does not get loose. Like with this three quarter inch beefy ass thing and a 10 foot pipe and I tighten it down, there's no way, no way it's getting loose ever again. this tighten up nice it's pretty freaking tight like I'm out of breath because it's I tighten that shit whoo so much so confident that I mean dude if it gets loose now that's that's impressive straight up so now we've got to throw this back on get the uh, track bar back on probably gonna have to shorten it back up put it on and then realign the front of the axle and then we'll go around and tighten up everything should be good to go We can see here after everything is tightened back up the track bar bolt doesn't align which I knew would happen so we are going to go ahead and loosen up these two bolts spin it shrink it up a little bit put the bolt in and then we have to realign the whole axle and center it back under the truck So now that we got the track bar in, I grab this big piece of wood right here, and this is gonna help us align the truck to center the axle. So we're gonna put it flat on the fender. It's completely flat, and we are going to look at dead center of the tire, and look at where the tread is, and we'll go to the other side, put it flat on here, and we're gonna look. So this side sticks out a little bit more, so we're gonna have to lengthen up the track bar a little bit. And to lengthen it, we just spin it this way. Then we go back, get the wood, and we check. It's just a trial and everything. Gotta go till we get it pretty much even. It's not, obviously not exact, but it's definitely will be close enough to be fine. And I'm just go ahead and keep doing this till I feel like the axle is centered under the entire truck. track bar right where we want it. I feel like the axle is pretty centered uh, to the front of the truck. So now we can go ahead and tighten these up so this doesn't move anymore. And then we'll go proceed to tightening up every other bolt, making sure everything's really tight and we're good to go. Okay, I just went ahead and tighten all the bolts. Pretty confident that everything's tight now. Feel good, we're gonna go take it for a little quick test spin to see how the steering is now. Um, I mean, I already know it's gonna be better, but we're just gonna, you always take it for a test spin, you know. Make sure everything's good. You don't have no surprises. Oh, woo. A little rough. Oh yeah. 
We'll let her warm up for a quick sec. We'll take it for a little spin. Right, we're about to take this sucker for a spin. I'm just waiting for my little thing to load up. Just want to make sure everything's warmed up properly. So I'm going to check my gauges real quick. Sometimes this thing doesn't turn on with the truck. It's fine. You just unplug it real quick and plug it back in. It boots right up. Um, I guess it just depends. Usually it turns on, but you know, sometimes it doesn't. Boot up real quick, make sure my temps are good, and then we're out. So there we go. Engine oil is 127 right now. Coolant temp 138. Uh, should be warm enough to go ahead and start driving a little bit. Oh yeah, steering is like spot on now. Wow. So it looks like I need to adjust my drag link real quick because my steering wheel is not straight. Um, that's a really easy fix, so no worries about that. Other than that, the steering is really solid. There's no play in it. So this was really easy. All I did was loosen this, take this out, slide this so this can move, loosen these two nuts, and then twist it up, which shrinks it in, pulls the steering wheel this way. Um, I just did a one turn, so I tighten it back up. We're gonna take it for a drive, and if it's still not good, we'll, we'll do some more adjusting. So it definitely looks a lot better, uh, but it's still a little bit off. I'm thinking one more solid turn and we should be pretty pretty close to straight, if not straight. Doesn't need to be perfect, but you know, try to get it as nice and straight as possible because then it messes with the turn signals and stuff if you're uh, not exactly straight. We're going to take this out. Take our channel locks. Do one full turn with it. Go a little bit more. That goes back on there like that. Tighten these back down. back and we're done that's adjusted that was actually really hard to do and film at the same time because uh, you have to like like the bolts in the back are like not so you have to hold those in while you tighten them down and it was really hard with the camera but uh, let's see if this has fixed our alignment so now our alignment is a little bit off to the other side which means I'm gonna go ahead and do a half turn now and hopefully that will put us dead straight all right, looks like our alignment's pretty straight now. I'm happy with that. So on that note, we're gonna call it. Just, you know, a little stuff you gotta fix with the truck, no biggie. Um, I enjoy this stuff. I'm actually really surprised that the truck videos are doing as well as they're doing. I had a feeling that they would do well because I know there's a big audience for this type of stuff, but I still wasn't sure and it's doing great. So thank you guys all for watching. I really appreciate it. I love, I, I'm really happy that I can go from lowered cars and stuff to lifted trucks and I still have an audience because I know there's a lot of people that it's either one or the other and I personally really like both so I'm, I'm, I'm really happy I can share both with you guys. On that note, I'm heading to the beach with my co-workers. We're taking the day off and I'll see y'all next time. BBS. Why they wanna be me? It's not what it seems. Running to the bank, putting wet on my Achilles. We been thumbing blue. Faces like they Washington's On a run from M.I.A. up to Washington